welcome, welcome, welcome to another, to a new episode, oh, first episode of Pixelmon on my Pixelmon server that I created for my friends, yes. Of course, you're going to be seeing all of this and more, maybe, maybe, if I, if I really get into recording Pixelmon, but I have done a lot, I didn't, I didn't think I'd be recording any of my Pixelmon. But as as it goes on, I pick some on um just kinda grew. Just kinda grew. So right now, as we're as we're headed right here, this is my base. I'll fucking fight you, Pidgey. Okay. This is my base. So Oh shit. Okay. So to continue on so to continue on, I had a little bit of interruption there. Um, I I'm doing some Pixelmon stuff. By the way, for information on my server, you cannot access the server unless you are a friend. If you ever wanted to. Um, so this is my base at the moment. A little quaint. I got my self a little healer, which I'm gonna heal my balls in right now. And yeah. Oh man, it does sound like a toaster oven. And I think I've just I've just cooked up stacks and stacks of resources that I got from caving a few days ago. I haven't been playing on because I went to a Bulls game last night, I think. Last yeah, last night. Yeah. How can I forget last night? I bought a beanie for like fifteen dollars. Mmm. So what I've got now is the sheer amount of things that actually I got from the caving trip and I guess I'll make that into blocks but let me talk about the server first the server has been up for like two weeks and there's been a lot of progress I've seen in Andrew's vids if you don't know who Andrew is he's Werna2000 if you don't know that Andrew is Werna spelled backwards or Werna is Andrew spelled backwards then you should really look look at the name more closely and from that he has been doing a lot of stuff I watched some of his videos <laughs> I guess he's made a lot more videos than me I think ever since but they're like six minutes long so you don't have to you don't have to take time to watch it at all so what I've got here I've, I've sorted everything in chests blocks of coal I think I should put that in my ender chest yeah let's take that and what am I smelting right now? Some iron. So let me show you around the base. I'll enchant something later. Um, ooh, a gold duck. Fight me, bitch. Oh, why am I doing that? Okay. Let me heavy slam it. Into confusion, baby. Fuck. Okay, let's get this gold duck. Okay. And right now, this is the portal. This is the portal leading into my base. I got a little path going down. It was, I carved it in the hill, I got some little posts going up it, and um, I'm bringing this all up, and this is going to make it to my gym. This doesn't really look like a gym right now, because apparently I'm making a dark type gym, and it doesn't look like a dark type gym at all. So, yeah, that, I'm trying to get it to feel that it, um, it doesn't look like what it says it's gonna be like, you know? Hmm. I don't know what to think about it. Um, it doesn't look like what it says it's gonna be, but I'm gonna dig out a whole huge area here for the, for Pixelmon. Oh. I mean, like for my gym. And I don't. I need to enchant some more stuff. And in order to do that, I went caving, got some more levels. By the way, I'm getting my Pokemon up to level 60 at the moment. Which makes it so that I can I can compete with Andrew because I never won a battle with Andrew, but he has some good Pokemon, and all I've done is cave and build. Um, I haven't really leveled up my Pokemon that all. all. So I made an item finder, Waymer's pail, and got all this stuff from fighting stuff and finding it. So we're gonna I'm gonna start up a little farm thing. I know we don't need a farm because I set the server to peaceful, 
but I feel like I feel like making a farm is fun, and it adds more variety to my plays. And yeah, I dropped that. Okay, I'm gonna make a diamond pickaxe just to enchant it. Enchant it now. Woohoo! We have that diamond. Hope we get something good. Ooh, another fortune three pick. I'll leave that in here. Which one is Elsa's fortune three? No, none of these are fortune three. So we got another one, another fortune three and fish three. But I'm gonna be using this one to dig out some more of that um or the caving. Mm, no, not caving. Let me get my words right. Uh, more of that little thing, thing, little thing. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Look, look, looks like those two iron came in handy after all. Let's make a hoe. And let's go over there. Oh, it's nighttime. <laughs> it's not really dangerous at night, but at nighttime it gets. Uh, I can't really see during it that much. So, as you see, I'm the only one on. I changed the config file. There used to be a. It used to show the po Pixelmon one, which stopped you from moving, so I just. I changed it back to the default one. Oh, gosh. Let's fight you. Drowsy. Look at this pile of venomots for the killing. Oh, baby. Okay. So we got we got him leveled up. Let's get actually let's get Ampharos up because Ampharos is a really hard Pokemon to train up. And here we go, it's power gem. Because you have to you have to do so much more. Okay. Oh. I kind of want to catch Gligar. Oh yes, yes. Wait, is it ground and flying? Yeah, it's ground and flying. So I'm gonna have to use Pokeballs. Even though Gligar cannot defeat me unless it has, ooh, Mudkip <laughs> circling in the background. That's so fun. What? Oh, it tackled me or something. Uh, it got paralyzed from that. Uh, that makes sense. He used knockoff. I kind of want to catch another Mudkip just to trade to Mikey if he actually wants one. I think he has like level 40 Pokemon and I think he almost beat me once but I think it's because I I don't think I healed before him. Yeah. Come on. Capture the Pokemon. Take it down. Take it down baby. I've been used to catching Pokemon. I have like Three PC for. Oh gosh, come on! I'm gonna close something in the background. It was a, it was a download for Optifine, so I can use it on Pixelmon. My regular Pixelmon runs at like 60 FPS, but I can't really record with that because it it lowers my frame rate a lot when I'm recording. And, yep. Come on, come on, Gligar, get in my balls. Get in one of my balls. Come on, man. Oh fuck you! Oh my gosh! I wish I can. I wish I can harm it a little bit more. I hope that Mudkip hasn't despawned yet. Oh Gligar, we got you. We got you, bitch. Hmm. Oh yeah, I turned off on the server the way to so that um it doesn't uh so that Pokemon don't interact with you like they don't start fights like they used to do I changed some of that in the config oh my gosh Mudkip you gone you gone actually let's let's try to look for it before I go mad insane mad sane let's actually light this up it doesn't actually have a torch but let's let's go down in this cave oh I think Mudkip really ran away or despawned well guess that's it for the mudkip then yeah so I dug out this huge area right here you see there's a big contrast against the this this part this swamp biome and the the mountains up there the flower forest so I'm just I'm just trying to make the best out of this flower um, swamp as I can so oh, I didn't get any didn't get any wood. Hmm, level thirteen. I think I already caught a polywag. 
I'm not sure. Well, you want to see the Pokemon that I caught? Here's some Pokemon that I caught. Yeah. I thought it was three boxes full. I guess I only entered box three then. Um. Hmm. I got a site there I could trade someone. And. Ooh. Uh, ah. It's only a Psyduck. If it was a Kadabra, I would have killed it. For the end of Pearls. For the Pearls. Let's. Let's get my Ampharos back up to maximum health. <laughs> Toaster sound. And. Ah. Uh, almost forgot the dirt. That was going to be painful for me. One more, one more stack over there. Yep, that's pretty much it. So I had these set up already, but I went caving when I made those. Oh, we should get the bones. The bones are going to be very useful for this. Make that into bone mail. Bone mail. And let's, let's cover up this hole. Actually, there's way more than you think, like... There's way more caving than you think there should be in Pixelmon. There's so many caves, I haven't explored them all. Gotta explore them all, Pixelmon. Okay, so we're gonna, gonna make our little farm area here. It's not really gonna be a farm, I'm just gonna do some stuff. And here we go, I'm taking all that. Oh, we should get some of this dirt. Give us some seeds, some extra seeds, in case that seed doesn't produce, doesn't produce more seeds. And did I dig this all out? Yeah, I did. Right? Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue this, and I'll catch back with you later. Welcome back to the um next part. It's been a few days since I recorded the last clip, which which was good um it was a little bit of fun for the last few days but we got it done so um this might look different to you guys this is the this was the farm I was working on um I got it all complete now I just got, got all this I have chests so if any Pokemon steps on the plans they'll be um I can I can re hoe them so I put the oh shit okay so I put the things in rows Put some lily pads to add a, add a little bit of walking. Put some vines on some of these. I bone mealed the ground. Continued. I made a path. Continued it. Yeah, so I got lucky with these two big trees. They add like a lot. Um, if, it were, if there were small trees, it would look kind of... I kind of wanted it to look like growth. Like an overgrowth. So I kind of redesigned this. Redesigned this a little bit. Get it. Oh yeah, got it. Okay, so I kind of redesigned this. I didn't redesign the bridge. I redesigned my base, which looks a little bit nicer. It doesn't have all the cobble on the walls. Well, it is cobble on the walls. I mean, like pure stone. I moved, I moved the ender chest and all this over, and yeah, I put my healer thing over here now. You're gonna hear the microwave ding, ding, and got some more Pokemon I I'm almost to box four I got a I got a shiny Cubone from, from traveling got some Kangaskhan got another Chimchar if anyone wants to trade that so yeah, it's nighttime now it kind of looks nice at nighttime I added some vines in here and well let's check out the well this is the path to my dark type gym it doesn't even look like a dark type gym but you'll you'll feel the darkness in here when I when I'm done with it so as you see my Pokemon are, are all leveled almost to 60 it's been like a few few times like that and I'll show you the I'll show you spawn it's connected to my base and there we go we're we're going here just, I got some nether quartz from this area but I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some fire resistance potions just in case because I don't want to like actually die. So I actually got um, the Pixel One server has a backpack mod. So I had I have a backpack mod. Um, I got the backpack for it. Ooh, that much. Okay, so we had a, I had a new mod where you can convert rotten flesh to to leather. You can get rotten flesh because there's no there's no mods 
vanilla mobs in here. Um, so rotten flesh is obtained by killing or slaying Zubats and or what's it called Golbats. So you probably never seen the spawn, but the spawn here is is kind of new. So we got all the gyms, gym signups. So I'm dark. Andrew's water. Luke is normal. Mikey is flying. So we still got all the farms here. I don't. I forget if I, no. I haven't. I haven't shown. This is the first episode I've got. So we got a trading machine here. I could just make that easily, but I don't wanna. So I moved out of. I moved out of here. I used to live here. Optifine glass. I should turn that off. I don't want Optifine glass. And yeah, Andrew's been building a lot here. He he got rid of one of the houses here, and it's this is Mikey's little house. I don't know what he's done here. I don't think he's done anything. So yeah, we got some Nether War here, which is basically useless right now. So um, yeah, the first thing anyone built on the server was this the um, the bridge. Yeah, that was that was Andrew's bridge, and Andrew's base is over here. There's a sign. Ooh, Venonat. Is that a Venonat? Veno Venonat. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Okay. So Andrew is right there. He's his little shop. His little. I guess I could say modern looking shop. He has nothing to sell though. As you can see, it's all empty. Though the prices are kind of steep. Unless you go strip mining. So he built. um he built this little bridge here over here as well. Make it look stone. Throw that egg. Hmm. No. Macro, you're kinda No. No, Macro. Get in my get in my range. Oh my god. Okay. Got him. And the bridge is kinda he's he's done with stone bridge. You can see his base down at the bottom, I'll show you that. And his little his bridges <laughs> he's in love with bridges right now um he's got, he's got this he's got bridges over water see that it goes down dips in he's got different types of bridges i kind of i kind of wish he'd have he'd have one style of bridge but i think i think having multiple bridges of different styles is kind of is kind of good so i i made this little thing I go down here when I need lava or obsidian because it's a huge ravine of lava and I can use that anytime I want. And basically on the server I haven't done that much. You see my base, it wasn't that much, but with me and Andrew and some other people playing on the server, me and Andrew are the most um most used. Oh my gosh, it's a boss slow bro. Wow. Fuck yeah. So how am I supposed to defeat this guy? I use crunch. Okay. Can I do this? Can I do this? Oh my gosh, that hurts. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's get out. Torterra. Torterra, Torterra. Kick a drain. Whoa! Yeah, 58, baby. Okay, what do we get? Moonball, Elixir, Full Heal, Ice Heal, and Dive Ball. That's actually pretty nice. I see a Full Heal, but we didn't get any potions. I can make potions anytime I want, but I think just having a healing machine is better. So, if you saw this, let me fight this Murkrow first, piss on boss. No, I can't even get the Murkrow. So this is the little passageway to Andrew's base. I'm gonna turn off that, um, is it video settings? Details. Ooh. Is it details? Does it say glass anywhere? That fog. Translucent blocks. Mmm. Where is it? Others. Mmm. Hmm. Where's the smooth textures? Is it performance? Quality. Natural textures on. Connective textures. Nah. Turn that off. Turn that all off. 
So he made like a little little bridge and it's really dark in here. I don't know how you're supposed to get up to the um, top if you fall down. So we got his place. It's crawling with mobs. I'm gonna use them to level up. Oh, I did level up in more ways than one. What is this? What is this? Natural textures. Natural textures. Oop. Seriously, what is this? What is this? I can't see it. Oh, we got his, he got his fossil stuff. I'll heal up my Flygon from that um, dreadful battle. Actually, let's check how, how much XP we got from that. 4,000, 5,000. Okay. Cloning machine. Oh, he's making that. He's making that. Does he have any... Nah. Oh, look, he's got a lot of... Oh my gosh, how did he get a Master Ball? I guess he explored somewhat. I have no idea. Is this something? You know, I can turn on mobs. But I think it's more... And it's plus, it's on peaceful. So, I don't think... I don't think mobs would be even on peaceful, but... Having peaceful... Oh, he found his own ravine. I think I explored this ravine. I don't know. Well, having it on peaceful makes it so that we don't have to eat. We just have to, um, we can build, we can fight, we can do all that stuff, explore, without having to worry about killing Pokemon for food. Killing, fainting. Fainting, uh, taking down Pokemon for food. And that was kind of the gist of it all. He got a little anvil, and I, I think I'm going to get out of his base now. As you can see, like everything that, everything here, has been like a little bit built. I think he, yeah, I think that ravine connects over there. There's like tons of ravines. I have no idea why every world I create has so many. And oh, there's Zubat. Give me rot flesh. Nah, I'm not gonna fight it. So I guess um. That's gonna be it for this episode. It was kind of like a spawn tour, server tour, little first thing, first thing first. Get you on the, get you on the ball, get get it rolling, get you acquainted on the server. And I guess we're, I guess that's gonna be it for this episode. So see you next time.